Continuing to field questions for Yosemite. I have a student who says that he is getting low percentages in UWorld in the 40s. Uh, wants to know how to increase his uh, block percentages ASAP. He's got his exam in a couple months uh, for step one. I know some of you are studying for step two. I know some of you will have UWorld percentages all over the place, whether you're in the 30s, you're really fucking shitty, or whether you're up in the 50s, you still want to get your blocks higher. So what do we do, right? How do we get your UWorld blocks higher? Uh, so before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let's start the clip. And what we've converged on is how do we get your UWorld block percentages up? Now, there's two points I want to make. The first is it's about changing our management, right? You're not going to order a CT scan unless it changes our management in some way. So if you have shitty versus good UWorld blocks, does that necessarily change your management? Not really, okay? You're still going to go through UWorld. So you get a 40% a block, okay, that sucks, but what are we going to do? We're going to have you continue to go through UWorld, okay? You can't get micro-oriented, as in like the day-by-day the -day orientation. You have to not let that bog you down. You need to just make inroads to the QBank. I mean, going that's why you're doing UWorld is to get your scores up. Right, so don't worry about low percentages right now. Just we got to get you through the Q bank, and bearing in mind that there's going to be those of you who are varying lengths of time out from your real deal. So uh, the final month should be a focus on the NBME content. I've made tons of prior clips here on the YouTube about that more specifically. But uh, if you're three months out, two months out, right? I mean, etc. We still got to get you through U World. That's what we got to do. Now, the other point I want to make is you should be using my high yield PDFs as you're going through UWorld. Okay. Uh, people will ask about how to use the PDFs during dedicated. I want you to, I want you spending most of your time doing the NBME exams and then in the evenings you can go through my PDFs. But while you're not in dedicated, I want you getting through blocks of 40 to 80. All right. So, or just one to two blocks a day. Um, 80 is a good pace, untimed tutor random mode. And then you can do my PDFs in the evening. Those PDFs will boost your scores, okay? So don't get too bogged down in your exact UL percentages. Try not to get emotional about it. Uh, recognize that if you get, if you get through UWorld and then and my PDFs and the NBMEs, that's pretty comprehensive for step one and two. And you should also do my audio QBank here on the YouTube, uh, various playlists by subject of the questions I do. And that I create, and you can uh, do those on downtime, like when you're brushing your teeth, flossing, at the gym, cooking, right? So those are very effective as well. You know the deal, I'm gonna continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time, that's it.